Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about a really old computer. This is an IBM Model 70, PS2 Model 70. And uh, if I can focus on the character, if you can see correctly, it says Personal Computer Slash 2 Model 70 386. So this computer has been built around um, the 1980s late 1980s, I would guess 1989 is during the time that this computer would, be, would have been bought and really uh, this is a 386DX computer which means that it's one of the more powerful computers that you can buy during that time 486 didn't really come out uh, mainstream yet just came out and um, so 386DX processors were really top of the line processors and many, many actually had SX, which didn't have the math coprocessor, but this one does. Now, as you can see in the front, there is a single drive. This is a three and a half quarter, uh, three and a half inch um, floppy drive. What's interesting is that the PS2 line really had a lot of proprietary, uh, IBM proprietary formats. However, a number of proprietary, proprietary formats became standard. standard. So, the when PS2 line first came out, the they came out with this 1.44 megabyte capacity three and a half inch floppy drive. This actually later, as you would know, became the de facto uh, floppy drive of the 90s, um, where everybody uses the three and a three and a half inch uh, floppy drives for all the PCs um, in the 90s. So really, this set the set the standard for for that. And uh, back in the day, this was considered proprietary, All right. And there were a couple of other things that uh, that that um, uh, also became uh, standard when it was considered proprietary when it first rolled out. And I'll show you that was later. Um, okay. So the there's also an empty drive bay. This one doesn't have another floppy drive. You can have uh, a dual floppy setup. In this case, it does have a hard drive, um, but you can also have two floppy drives as well. Uh, the power switch is those really old switches. It's very loud. Um, there's just two lights. There is the power light and the hard drive light. And really, that's it. And this is the in air intake on the bottom. Um, the case is a little bit dirty, but uh, we should be able to clean that up uh, in the in another future video that I'll be posting um, but yeah so this video is just to go over the high-level overview of this computer and its uh, outside appearance so let me swing this computer around okay so at the back, you'll see that um, there is a familiar power supply, three pump power supply cable, uh, sorry, plug. And uh, now down here, you'll see that it has two of these, what PS2 looking, what we call PS2 now, type plugs. And this is why we call PS2, is that these plugs were really proprietary uh, back then and IBM wanted to set this as a standard and they did um, with the uh, three and a half inch floppy as well so uh, that's why in most of the IBM computers you can still use the newer keyboards that you buy in stores today uh, with these computers um, because they're 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 all compatible they're the PS2 standard uh, whereas if you buy the uh, other computers not made by IBM um, back in those days, they would have the bigger, bigger PS1, what we call PS1 type connectors for the keyboard, and probably a serial port for the mouse. So there's really no serial serial port on this computer. There's a parallel port and a parallel port out, and a VGA uh, connector as well. Uh, this is a one. This does support uh, VGA resolution. So, um, and this is, I guess, another one of the proprietary connectors that got, uh, that got standardized as well with the introduction of the PS2. Um, and all the basic 
video cables nowadays come with the, the VGA connectors. And when we go to the right, we have uh, three expansion slots. These are what we call MCA or micro channel architecture. Um, this is another of one of those proprietary expansion slots that, micro, um, that IBM wanted to introduce. However, unlike the previous uh, formats, this one never caught on. And um, yeah, and, and we don't use it anymore. I mean, it's, it's, it's very ancient and it's very hard to find uh, cards, especially the sound cards for these slots, unfortunately. But these never caught on and um, we now have ISAs and PCI and obviously PSX, PCI Express. But back in the day, it was ISA that was competing against this. And uh, also there's another uh, ISA expansion called VLB that was a little bit more popular than, than the micro-channel architecture. It's a very powerful expansion slot. It's a 32-bit, but again, it just never caught on. I think it was too expensive. The cards are large and too expensive to make. Um, but uh, so that's that. And really, the rest of the c computer is fairly uh, comparable to uh, even the even to the mid uh, tw uh, mid two thousands computer, as you see, except for the USB ports at the back. So, um, so yeah, so this is, uh, again, the model 70, uh, from IBM, uh, it's a PS2 model. And, um, this is just a brief overview of what the case looks like and what the external ports are. And, uh, in the next video, I will show you, um, how I'm going to clean this case. I'm going to take all the components apart and hopefully put them back together and uh, put it up and we can see what we can do with this computer. Thanks for watching.